Tonight, the San Diego Board of Directors and San Diego County Board of Supervisors met to discuss the findings of that investigation, which found the toll road operation system to be unreliable and led to thousands of people to be mischarged. So give us just one moment. The San Diego County Board of Supervisors is calling for more transparency and accountability at San Dag. The calls come after a new investigation determined that the agency lacks the internal controls needed to make sure that the State Route 125 toll roads financial records are accurately recorded and reported. Yes. Oh, definitely, yes. definitely. They need to get down to the bottom it, of it. it. That's something to be, that they need to look into, definitely. Nicole Brown is an Uber and Lyft driver who says she was unfairly charged after mistakenly taking the toll road. Well, I took the 125 by accident. My GPS took me down the toll route, and I got a ticket in the mail later on, and it was originally supposed to be only for a couple bucks, maybe 10 and then the ticket after the date went up to hundred and something dollars. Last fall, former San Diego executive Lauren Warren sued the agency, claiming she had been fired as retaliation for raising concerns about toll system errors. In doing so, tech problems went public. Warren talked with CBS 8 last November. It was at that time that I started making complaints that I felt like I wasn't being heard, that I wasn't being listened to. That's not what they wanted to hear. The report also found that senior managers at the regional plan Planning agency knew about these issues before the board of directors were alerted. Warren believes there may be errors in up to 45,000 customer accounts. I felt I was wrongly terminated. It was very concerning that we, as the Sandag, was basically misallocating customers' funds. I mean, those are personal funds. In a statement, San Diego County Board of Supervisors Chairwoman Nora Vargas said the findings highlight blatant errors in a dysfunctional system that shortchanges commuters and all who use our roads. San Diegans deserve better. Today, the board unanimously approved accepting the audit committee's recommendations to restructure the system. To read what those recommendations are and more about the investigation, go to CBS8.com and click on this story. Rocia de la Fe, CBS8.